What is up? Welcome back to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs TV. Once again, it's your boy Kier. And today in the studio, we have actor as well as uh, various hats that you yeah, actually wear. Very yeah, very much. Yeah. Uh, Kevin and it's Rimper. Remfer. Remfer. Yes. Remfer. Sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Kevin. Thank Glad you, to have you. Uh, yeah, so I know um, you are, uh, you've been doing a lot of work in the community. I know we worked on a project together yes. uh, not too long ago. Um, so your, your background, is it primarily in acting or? I would say it's more probably like in filmmaking in general. Okay. I first got started to knowing what I want to do as a career. I was uh, started out in, um, in Stockton, where I'm from. The radio and television program at um, the college out there, Delta College, okay. started up this program. They're they actually restarted up. It was gone for like a long time, and they brought back the radio and television um, portion of the of the school campus. And then once I got into there, I started getting into filmmaking. You know, just making short films, doing stuff on the radio, trying to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. And you know, going there for a while, I feel like my skills weren't where they kind of wanted there to be. So sure. I decided to go to school, the Academy Art, Academy of Art University in San Francisco. Okay. And once I was there, I thought, you know, I was really there focusing on screenwriting. It was kind of like decided that's like the one focus I wanted to wanted to do. Right. And so, uh, so is that kind of more your your still your area of mostly oh, interest yeah. is screenwriting? Yeah, screenwriting is still something I very much am still focused on. It's still something I really want to do as a career. It just when it started getting a bit more out of school, I started thinking more about acting because, like, during the school, I always still had that that kind of the actor itch, right? Wanting to still kind of do that. I always I always love voice acting, so I was something I was always like thinking about wanting to do, but I just never could really get myself to really study for it since you know being in school, really focusing on kind of like one subject. Right. But once I got out. I just started, you know what, I really wanted to kind of pursue acting as well. I kind of realized how much I really loved it. Absolutely. Um, so now that you're kind of out of school, um, have you had a chance, you know, what's the what's the scene looking like here in Northern California? Have you got to work on a lot of projects as far as screenwriting as well as to do a little bit of acting? Or No, I don't see too much screenwriting because, I mean, it comes to mostly living in this area. It's always hard for me to know, like, what's out here in the Northern California film scene right. compared to, like, you know, L.A., which is... <laughs> Right. No matter so where huge, you. So huge, vast, and things of that <laughs> nature. Yeah. Yeah. No. Absolutely. There's a lot more opportunity for, for screenwriting and and just various other entities in terms of film. So I completely understand that. Oh yeah. But even if I haven't really kind of figured out where to like see for a long time this area, I just kind of just focus on my own work. I write a lot of feature projects. I write a lot of my own like television pilots. Just working on my craft. Just write. Just writing a bunch of stuff. So I just you know try to de to eventually de develop my um the stories that I write. Absolutely. And then I know you also have been working with uh, Shutter Films. So yes. what, what, in what capacity have you been working with them? I've mostly just been working as an actor. I've done some acting um, um, thing, uh, gigs and stuff, uh, doing like three different ones for them uh, for three different films. And I worked sound on a Korean drama that, 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 they, were, that they were working on. Oh, yeah, on. yeah. Do you remember them talking about that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, then we yeah. were... Uh, Essentially, ex extras in the, yeah. the zombie film together. So yeah. yes, the zombie film. I got to do two different roles in that one. I was playing the the president's uh, kind of assistant. That's right. That's right. I remember because you were so much taller than everybody else. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> like how do we frame me up right? Right. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Yeah. No. That's fun. And then um, you've also participated in the forty hour film fest as well yes. in a different capacity or also through like Shutter Films. Oh, yeah. Well, forty eight hour. I, yeah, forty eight hour. I just did um, just through Shutter, Shutter Films. Because, you know, going to the festival, you know, trying to see meet, meet people and see who needs what. And since, you know, one person I talked to, there was Troy, and he was just like, well, you know, if you're interested, we could bring, bring you on and have you, you know, be an actor for us. Right. So now I know I'm officially, you know, working for, for, for Shudder, you know, and I just do whatever projects that, you know, need to be done. Absolutely. Well, that's awesome. And then, um, so you went to film school in San Francisco? Yes. And then are, are you're all done with that now? Oh, yeah, then? yeah. I graduated okay, all yeah, long yeah, back. You're, so. So you're, you're good to go as far as <laughs> yeah. that goes. Um, now, just, I mean, I mean, obviously you're wanting to get a little bit more in acting, but you also do a lot of behind the scenes works as, as well. Yeah. So what are, what are some other positions that you do behind the scenes also? Well, you know, behind the scenes positions in the past, whenever I've done stuff, I've usually done like PA work. There was this one gig I did in San Francisco a long time ago where I was doing uh, like. I guess the best way for like like a music, uh, I can be like, I, I, I was like coordinating like the music, uh, music for a music video, like, uh, like a technician, I guess okay. that, that's the best way to put it. Like, um, they're shooting this music video, uh, for this one company and they were just needing me to be on my computer to just, you know, pl uh, uh, pl pl play the song that, that needs to be played. So then the, the, the people that can like dance, da dance to it. Okay. 
So I've just done small stuff, and then for my own projects, I've like um, I've I've just I run camera if I you know just take taking a camera, just shooting actors that that that, uh, that I know. So just like a little cinematography, a little bit. I've done I don't think I was a little bit of lighting before for like student project films. You're pretty well versed. So you've got yeah. lighting, you've got screenwriting, you've got acting, and camera work and photography so that's, yeah uh, makes you kind of a you know a vast guy to you know people should contact if they want well, to hopefully work so them, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh, of course anyone wants to contact me for you know anything that they're free always free to do so i i like just you know study different forms of art especially for filmmaking you know some people say focus on one thing and that only one thing which it is a good thing to do because right. I've met people in the past that will be like, yeah, you know, I'm an actor and a writer and a producer and director. And usually those are always the kind of the, the phony balonies. Absolutely. But, you know. Yeah, it's one of those things. Some people are maybe good at one thing. Some people are really are a jack of all trades, yeah. you know. So it just kind of varies, you know, because everybody kind of dabbles. Like, I dabble oh, in editing yeah. a little bit, but I wouldn't say I'm an editor by any means. Oh, yeah, I totally yeah. understand that. <laughs> so, yeah. Kind of the same way, too. But, I mean, yeah. there's plenty of people in the industry, too. Like, say, like, Robert Rodriguez was one of my inspirations of getting I into I was just going to ask you, who are some of the directors you like to work with? Oh, yeah, like, definitely I would say <laughs> what really got me into wanting to be a filmmaker was back in high school. I was going to a continuation school. There really wasn't much fun things to do besides the basic classes and art class and one of the teachers that was there was like a big comic book nerd big movie nerd so he created this um film class and like the first two films he showed was Reservoir Dogs and El Mariachi and before that I never thought about working in filmmaking but first time in my life seen like independent films and how they're made I'm just like wow like I want to do that. That's right. what I want to do with my life. Absolutely. No, no, that's great. So, um, so who, who are, besides Robert Rodriguez, who are some of your other inspirations? Oh, you know, I, I've been a big fan of say actors kind of like Jim Carrey, um, like, like the Fairy Brothers movies, like Dumb and Dumber and Old School, like a lot of the a uh, action films, like Christopher Nolan. Yeah. So, yeah, there, there, there's a lot of different I was going to say, you're a great time right now because Christopher Nolan's got a big film coming out. Uh, I think this week actually. Yeah, so, Oppenheimer yeah. comes out this yeah, week. Yeah, it comes out this week, and then um, I just saw uh, Champions, which is a Fairly Brother film with Woody Harrelson. Oh, really? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So that one's I think streaming right now. So. Oh, yeah, it's good. Last night I watched through the movie um, Parasite, that Korean film, and that was an amazing. Story. Oh, that was yeah, that was uh, one I think Best Picture. Um, I think so. I think it was about twenty twenty nineteen. Yeah, it yeah, was that was that's a really really good film for sure. Yeah, but, I, that was a really good inspirational film. Just the way that they were able to structure the story and just well, you just kind of wonder like what's going on in the story. What does this lead to? Then once it gets to the what it leads to, you're just like, oh my god, right. this, this is great. Absolutely. So what's next for you? What's next? I say I'm um, have some some a, some acting uh, jobs that I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. I'm uh, I've been writing a lot of stand-up comedy, so I'm so you'll be seeing me hopefully around the stand-up comedy scene right oh, here in Sacramento. Great. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely want to see you in some of the comedy circuits as well. So yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah. So I'll be getting so I'll be doing co comedy acting, and I'm gonna start to get, really put some scripts together to try to shoot my own stuff pretty soon too. Perfect. And so, where can people find you before we let you go? Well, you could find me on my uh, Instagram handle. I'm, I'm the Kev Dude, uh, what I made up for myself. So you, so yeah, so you can find me on, so, on social media. Okay, absolutely. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank it's, you. Uh, we'll have you back again soon, and hopefully, hopefully so. we'll be able to talk about some of the comedy work you're doing in the community as yeah, well. Yeah, great. Yeah, thanks. Absolutely. Well, thank you again for watching Sacktown Movie Buffs. We'll be back again soon with another episode. Have a great day.